Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One and welcome to Boots on the Ground. Let's get right into it. If you guys have anything you could send or contribute, uh, send it to Southern Prepper One, the number one, Southern Prepper One at yahoo.com. It'd be greatly appreciated. Let's get right into it. Uh, small business of the day is Whitaker's Natural Market. Uh, they are a health food homesteading store owned by an organic farmer and a naturopathic doctor. We features all kinds of homesteading supplies. Um, a lot of things organic but a great site so i'm going to leave all the links for you you can go check them out if you can support them in any way uh, they're exactly like us they're homesteaders also uh, and they have a 44 acre organic farm in their store so they are living the lifestyle it started off boots on the ground from netherlands Prices just keep on rising on most everything from food to hygiene. Some products are 50% more expensive than a year ago now. It shocks me every week I go shopping. Today was the last day I bought some extras to fill my storage. I really had to look hard for some good deals on some affordable cans of vegetables to put into my storage. <coughs> Lots of empty spaces in the generic brands of canned vegetables. Um, I used up most of my savings on stocking up on food, clothing, and hygiene products. From now on, I will only go for the really good offers to mix up my diet and to replace things I use. May God be with people that are in worse position than I am. This is Northeast Georgia, a grocery observation. Because we live about 20 miles away from a major supermarket, we order our groceries online and try to get the best availability to save gasoline. I attempted to purchase a turkey that was on sale a few days ago, and every store within the area had no turkeys of any weight. Very frustrating. Some basic items such as store brand macaroni and cheese, cornbread mix, round butter crackers, powdered milk, canned soup, and other basic food items are not available in the store, but were only available to be shipped to your home. Um, so get folks to check that option if they cannot find item physically in the store check online um, Some items in the store were not available frozen meatballs paper towel paper bowls dishwashing scrubbing spoon sponges uh, Dishwashing liquids um, the quality of meats are going down I finally found a turkey, but the turkey had been processed badly excess skin on the neck and other sloppy processing also roast Roast beef looked good in the package, but when you buy it and brought it home, there's a lot of fat on the bottom. I learned last night that from a National Transportation Associate officer that the California Dock Workers and Rail Worker Union were asked by the Biden administration not to strike until after the midterm. The dock workers have been working, I think, for a few years without a contract, and the rail workers for a time as well. Both union workers are not very happy at the moment, and strikes are a real possibility. If both strikes at the same time, we are in deep doo-doo. Um, also, 25-day supply of diesel to com combat that refineries may start to switch to a major percentage of their production to diesel fuel oil to keep the northeast folks from freezing this winter and trucks rolling that could mean limited gasoline supplies and much higher gas prices perfect storms are brewing now i couldn't verify this uh about the strike but i know a lot of people are upset um and so only time will tell so just assume we're going to have a strike and if you assume it and you prepare accordingly uh you'll be ready for it if it doesn't happen you'll be just that much farther ahead my hubby and I try to be frugal on our dates. Uh, we use coupons when we go out to eat. Back in the summer, Burger King had a coupon for two people that included two Whoppers, two fries, and two drinks. The special was $8.99. The special briefly went to $10.99. When the coupons came today, the special price was $12.99. Two meals for $13 is still less expensive than eating at most places, but that is a 40% increase in five months. Apparently, the state of South Dakota has advised that they will not be printing vehicle titles effective immediately because of a paper shortage issues. They said, they said that they anticipate not being able to print titles until February of 2023. The paper that they use have built-in security features for fraud. So if buying or transferring ownership of a vehicle in South Dakota, you will not get a paper copy of the title until February. This person says, I work in a small excuse me i work in a school and it's in a cafeteria in indiana we are no longer able to get turkey for thanksgiving menu for the kids they want us to give us an alternative meat 
turkey is no longer available to us that uh, I've gotten from other cafeteria workers and then I got it from uh, a distributor that said the turkey will not be being sent to school so definitely is a turkey shortage so um, if you get your turkeys now get them and if you eat one for Christmas you might want to put one back in the freezer as a small dairy farmer in Minnesota, it is so frustrating to hear people who cannot find dairy or beef products at a reasonable price and good quality. I farm with my family seven days a week, 365 days a year to provide a quality product for people. So when I hear a product unavailability or too costly or rotten, it really irritates us. We deal with costs that have risen 25 to 200% in the last 18 months, but the prices we receive have declined 20% since early summer for the milk with butter prices at the Chicago Merck exchange dropping 53 cents per pound in the last three days. This will further push down the price we receive for milk we produce in the coming months. The beef prices that we receive have also declined about 20% recently. We just wanted to let your viewers know that the farmer is not making out like a bandit. We are just hanging on to. Farmers do not set the price we receive for what we produce. We have to take what the market will pay us. <clears throat> I have an adult son with special needs. I went yesterday to pick up a nasal spray that stops seizures for my son at Publix. It was all already ran through our insurance and his Medicaid so it was paid for so she said I put it back because you were transferring his prescription to Walmart so the pharmacy guy or gal put it back so it wasn't ready to be picked up because they were transferring his prescription to Walmart yes because you can't get what we need she said well then you can't get it from him you can't get it for him um, I was shocked uh, about this because it was already paid for um, I told her, well, now Medicaid said we've already gotten it and won't let us get it again because you ran it already. And she says, well, you'll have to call them and explain the situation. This doesn't seem right to me. How are they allowed to do that? What if he seized I, and I didn't have the nasal spray to stop the seizure? I put in a call, call to corporate waiting for them to call me back. I'm glad I've done uh, done with them because uh, we've been with them for, f for years now. Uh, I wonder if this is a way things will be going forward. This is Eastern uh, oh, oh, Oklahoma. I've um, been watching you for years. Um, they also said that Tulsa area Winco out of stock on wheat berries, barley, and something else. Ask if we could order them, and, and they let, they'll let us know that they could not get any more. So they couldn't even order them. The shelf space was replaced with oats. Um, all the best. Looks like food shortages are becoming a real reality. So at this particular place they were trying to buy the wheat berries, barley, uh, none available. They were replaced with oats in their space. DHL Express, big shipping company, uh, their shipping rates are going to jump 7.9% in 2023. Uh, don't be surprised if further into the year they jump again. Uh, my wife had to get a tire plugged at a small shop and we used them before and they were five dollars a couple months ago to get the plug uh, today they were charging now ten dollars for the plug uh, so I guess I'll be plugging our tires now also I work for the South Carolina DOT our shop had to bypass uh, a part on some of the dump trucks because of the def system because the part is not available and it's on back order My son, who lives in, I'll just say he lives in Georgia, won't be any more specific, uh, this past Thursday morning heard a knock on his door. It was mid-morning. He saw an individual and assumed it was a delivery person. He opened the door and he was met with a 9 mil in his face and the man pushed him back into the house and proceeded to ransack and rob the house of everything valuable he could find. About $2,400 in cash uh, that they were saving for a vacation, uh, also some jewelry, a laptop. Uh, in the process, he hit my son in the head with the gun. Um, there's a lot more I would like to say, but I'm not going to write it. Um, my son and his partner are safe, um, but are going to have to go back into a house that had been ransacked, glass all over the floor, and so many things that they loved uh, that were given to them by other loved ones were stolen. So take warning. Do not open your door to anyone if you don't know for sure who it is. Um, so crime is rampant. Please be paranoid of everyone verify who they are do not assume when they knock on your door they have your best interests at heart 
This person said, I went to Walmart yesterday and found these awesome deals. And they were awesome deals. Uh, soups and veggies, uh, 50 cents a can, uh, corn, uh, Jiffy corn muffin. So there was a lot of good deals out. And a lot of people send me good deals. So you need to keep your eyes open. I mean, people are sending me good deals on, you know, 49 cent a pound chick or turkey, all kinds of good things. So look for those. Uh, this person had some um advice for people that are having troubles um so, and there's some good advice um basically they said people are are looking for cheap food they need to stretch their 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 money um there's a lot of food apps you can use so look into those um, also reducing your thermostat five to seven degrees can save you a 10 percent in heat, heating costs uh, i'm getting a lot of people that have turned their thermostat way down uh, 60 degrees uh, to me 60 degrees is very uncomfortable but it is doable if you wear a sweater um, but a lot of people can't reduce their gauges down thermostat gauge anymore because they're already very low also they said <clears throat> maybe you can get some insulated window blinds uh, plastic to cover any drafts and any windows drop your landline if you got a cell phone and a landline you, and you don't need it for work or anything like that get rid of your landline uh, you might have to get rid of cable TV um, she they also said my friend an RN who is in management of an emergency department here um, they are trying to stock up on materials and supplies to treat RSV which hitting the nation like crazy Please remind your viewers to take their vitamin D and C and zinc um, and quercetin. Um, this will help. And that is not medical advice. If you need medical advice, see your doctor. But vitamins are always good to take. Hello, I'm a retired paramedic. Um, we've had several different instances of medication shortages. I'm a diabetic and my doctor just put me on a popular one weekly injection. Uh, that was highly, highly advertised over the TV and the internet. Um, the, the pharmacy was unable to fill the prescription when I called. The lady stated she didn't even know when or even if they were going to get any. And this is a widely prescribed medication. So keep watching your medication. A lot of them are coming up short. I was at CVS today and my monthly thyroid medicine was delayed by a few days causing me to have to skip a few daily doses while I was there I heard others talking about the amoxicillin deficiency and no children's Tylenol even the CVS brand over-the-counter meds were almost wiped out I'm taking your warning seriously I've been building my little uh, at-home first aid center little by little each week I add a few vital supplies um, so please stock up on anything you think you're gonna need this winter um, they also were the ones that said sent us the thing about some diesel shortages and this is an update uh, this was the diesel shortage for the commercial drivers out of Long Island New York um, and this is the brief update from my cousin when I asked him how the diesel situation was with his company if he was still getting paid for the days he couldn't drive this week uh, he is I guess because he's on salary um, but he said update on Saturday as of Saturday afternoon still no diesel for me the few trucks that have enough diesel remaining are concentrating on servicing the gas stations right now I am told my diesel will be available after midnight um, so there is a problem with the diesel I don't know how widespread it is but I'm getting more and more reports uh, there is issues um, this one's interesting I thought you might find interesting to know that my brother-in-law drives tanker semi delivery gas and diesel to many gas stations here in Wisconsin. He said that he has heard absolutely nothing about the diesel shortage. Uh, so he is getting, Wisconsin sounds like they're getting diesel and gas delivered to their um, stores. So that is very interesting. Um, it's definitely not widespread, but it is definitely in pockets around the United States. I live in Vancouver, Washington. Um, the homeless issue, 
um, and the crime has found its way across the bridge and this is the bridge I guess the Columbia River from Portland Oregon so there's a bridge connecting them I work in a hotel and just today we had returned another cart to the TJ Maxx store which was full of empty hangers and labels and also had to remove another individual um, an, in, an individual from our eight yard dumpster I don't know if they had to remove another individual I'm thinking maybe the cart not an actual person it wasn't that long ago that I would hear sirens every two weeks um, and now it is five to six times a day all of this is the new normal the store shelves are pretty well stocked um, but if you pay attention you can see fillers being moved around uh, canning jars seems to be the big one they will end up uh, with the j jams and jelly um, also the price of Pringles has gone up from 99 cents to $1.99 other chips have gone up almost doubled uh, just they listed a bunch of price increases and it's just massive price increases which we all are seeing um, where we live um, they're also stressing the importance of books and I love books books uh, will be there when the internet goes down this person says and they've sent other things I work for a natural and organic grocery store in Chicago area so I want you to know about the price changes um, definitely seeing jumbo eggs from $5.99 to $8.49 uh, other peas from two to three dollars and the increases go on and on um, and he also said he heard the uh, manager or a supervisor talking to him um, that they will be expecting to get more or less work hours uh, so it looks like the company is cutting back on hours um, so if you're in a position make sure that you're prepared for a cutback in your hours or getting laid off so don't take anything for granted This person wants to point out uh, with the diesel supplies getting tight, the availability of diesel fuel to run the school buses could be infected. Uh, according to the dieselform.org, 91% of all nation school buses use diesel fuel. Um, so this could be a problem if we do get into lack of diesel, getting kids back and forth to school. My girlfriend is a nurse at a hospital in eastern North Carolina. She just said the hospital is completely out of saline flushes. These are the ster sterile syringe preloaded with saline that are used to maintain a person's uh, IV and make sure it doesn't get clogged. A very important item for many patients. Hopefully more will arrive on the truck today. Um, it was bad a couple months ago, I reported, and they were using only half of the amount of the container the saline uh, syringe and they were saving it for later but now this hospital is completely out this is from South Alabama my relative is a truck driver he reported he took a load of frozen chickens from Tyson's to the port in Mobile to be shipped to Taiwan this is the uh, from Lake Charles uh, this was the explosion in Louisiana. Um, a dash cam video caught the moment a grain elevator exploded. Um, so it's just more and more stress on the already uh, problemed uh, logistical supply chain. But this was a fuel expl or a grain explosion. Um, I, they haven't come out with a reason why. Hopefully, it was not uh, foul play. It was just a mechanical problem something I live in central Ohio and it take my father-in-law to the hospital in Ohio um, for a serious issue we arrived in the ER was full of people for various reasons everyone get checked in and reviewed for their issues when they were sent back to a waiting room no one was getting assigned an ER room if you were requiring blood work you were sent to a triage room for the drug drug uh, blood draw by a local EMT who was there to assist and then sent back to the ER waiting room. If you needed x-rays, you'd go down to x-rays and then come back to the waiting room. Um, people there were having an average wait time of six to nine hours to be seen. People were ordering food for delivery or family members were going out because they were there so long and they were getting hungry. Um, our wait time was nine hours. My father-in-law was admitted and they discussed an option for surgery. Not sure if the shortage is due to the employees not getting the you know what and just not having enough people there. Um, so the medical system is collapsing. I mean, there's serious flaws in it. Uh, they need to get it fixed. Um, you, prices are going up, and this is continuous pricing 
uh, are increasing on everything that we're using. So just keep praying, keep preparing, uh, and have a positive attitude. Thanks for watching.